So one of the big benefits of Tripwires is that they allow your customers to show commitment to you, your company, uh, and to your brand. And I want to show you how that happens because it really occurs in two ways. And again, these are the same two ways that we show commitment in our daily lives to the people we're committed to, to the organizations that we're committed to. And the first way is simple. It's your wallet. We show commitment in our wallet. We show commitment when we invest in something, when we give money. That is one of the ways that we show commitment. It expresses itself in our wallet. So for example, when Columbia House Records said, we're going to give you 13 records or tapes for just a dollar, they were getting commitment. They were getting a customer. Yes, it was only a dollar. Yes, they were losing money when they were selling 13 records or tapes or eight tracks or whatever the heck these things were for a dollar. Um, they were losing money on that, but they got commitment. They got a buyer. They had a changed relationship. And that's the reason, by the way, that this company, you may kind of laugh them and laugh at them and, and mock them. They're, they're not really around um, today, but at one time they were responsible for 15% of all music sales. Think about that. 15% of all music sales. That's the power of, of a compelling tripwire offer. It's because they lowered the barrier to entry. All right, they lowered the barrier to entry down to a buck. And actually, people who remember where Columbia Records started know that it, it began with just a penny, just a single penny. And, and as crazy as it seems, when you got a direct mail package from Columbia House Records and you taped your penny, that's what they wanted you to do, tape a penny to this postcard, drop it in an envelope and send it back. When you taped that penny to that postcard and you sent it back, make no mistake, the relationship had changed. You shifted from a lead from a prospect into a buyer. The relationship had changed because commitment had changed because you had to take out your wallet. All right. So that's the first way. The second way um, that, that we show this is through our calendars, right? Through our calendars. So if you think about it, we gave this example before how Really, a, a tripwire is, is very much about asking someone to go out for coffee. That's why I talked about before a demo. You know, a product demo is not a good lead magnet. It actually is a good tripwire because it's sort of like saying, hey, want to go get some coffee? When you ask somebody to do a demo or to come on to a webinar or a teleseminar, when you ask them to do that, you're asking for their time. You're asking them to change their calendar. And in many respects, you know, we do this, right? They sign up for the demo. They sign up for that. We say, okay, great. Click this thing to add this meeting to your calendar because calendar is how we show commitment. Just in the same way that when the guy gets the gal to meet him for coffee, he's getting her to deviate from her ordinary schedule. And when you get somebody to deviate from their schedule, when you have a place in their calendar, they're showing commitment. It's increasing the intimacy and the relationship has fundamentally changed. You're no longer two strangers that happen to meet in a bar. You're now two people meeting up together in a coffee shop. The relationship has fundamentally changed. That's what tripwires do from a big conceptual standpoint. I'm obviously going to show you a lot more examples. Uh, before we get to the specific examples, though, I want to make clear what a tripwire is not. Okay, so a tripwire is not a coupon. All right, this is a coupon. It's a coupon for a carpet cleaning company. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this particular coupon. They're saying, look, you get twenty dollars off if you do five um, five or more rooms, and ten dollars off if you do three or more rooms. Coupons are great. They're great for converting unconverted leads. They're also great for going um, back out to your best customers and offering them a great deal. We talked about that before in the form of the velvet rope offer, um, where we talked about offering that specific discount in the, in the lead magnet module. But coupons don't make good tripwires because they're quid pro quo. It's I'll give you this great deal if you give me money. Right? That's the equivalent of, you know, I'll take you out and I'll buy you dinner if you promise to kiss me at the end of the evening. Right? It's quid pro quo. It's this for that. It's I'll do this for you if you do this for me. That's not a tripwire. Tripwires are value in advance. Okay? So this is a tripwire. Same industry. We're still talking about carpet cleaning, right? But whereas this carpet cleaner said, hey, look, if you'll let me tromp into your home and clean these rooms, then I'll give you a discount. What this carpet cleaner is saying is, look, let me just come out to your home and, and you know, you got a favorite chair, a couch and a favorite cat. And maybe that your favorite cat has got hair all over your favorite couch or, or chair. Look, for 89 bucks, 
you know, we'll, we'll, make it, we'll make it beautiful again. For 89 bucks, we'll make it great again. Now, when you're there as a carpet cleaner, when you're in their home cleaning their favorite sofa, cleaning their favorite chair, you know what that favorite sofa or favorite chair is probably resting on? Carpet. So it makes perfect sense that when you've delivered value in advance, when you've made them a great deal and you've done a great job, that's an awesome time to say to the homeowner, you know, look, I'm already here. I've got my, my stuff. You know, your couch looks great. If you want, I can hit um, all the other, I can hit all your other rooms. In fact, um, if you let me do all five rooms, I can give you $20 off. Or if you let me do all five rooms, I'll totally credit the $89 that, that you have me spend here. Then it's appropriate right? Then it's appropriate. That's the equivalent of, wow, it, it really was nice getting together this afternoon and having coffee. We should go grab dinner sometime. It's an appropriate request to make because the value has already been delivered in advance. The only change that I would make to this is I would charge less. I would charge less. This particular tripwire is putting you in the person's home. We're going to talk about this more. We call this a value and advance offer, but it, you're getting paid to go into someone's home. Lower that barrier to entry as low as you can possibly stand. I'm going to give you an example a little bit later of a company that did just that and had tremendous gains as a result. So in, instead of $89, I'd love to see him charge 20 bucks, 30 bucks, maybe 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks, right? You're getting in someone's home. Another good example of a tripwire offer for a carpet cleaning company would be spot re removal. Hey, we'll remove any spot for 20 bucks or your money back right? Let us come out, remove a spot. Cause you know what happens as a carpet cleaner? When you remove a spot, everything else around that spot now looks dirty in comparison to the beautiful spot that you just cleaned. So again, it's pretty easy now to make this offer, but this is not a tripwire. Coupons are not a tripwire. Tripwire, they're true, honest value in advance. Okay. True, honest value in advance. Uh, and, and, and so this is more what we're talking about. Not this, All right? We've got lots more examples that I want to show you. So let's keep moving and then get some of those examples.